Thank you, Sakala and Nancy. Yes, we'll get you that and lots more, but first the top line. With the inauguration of Indian Oil's Paradeep Refinery, the state-owned firm becomes the country's top refiner. Built over nearly 16 years, the refinery has product production capacity of 15 million tons per annum. <clears throat> In the pre-budget meeting with state finance ministers, Finance Minister Arun Jaitley urges states to increase spending on infrastructure and poverty elevation schemes. Owing to the progressive government schemes, India is strongly poised to weather the challenges of global slowdown. Urban consumption demand and a robust transportation sector are supporting growth says rating agency Nomura. However, the agency cautions that the weak external conditions and sluggish investment demand could weigh down the pace of recovery. <clears throat> High-speed Talgo trains from Spain to begin test routes on Delhi to Mumbai route soon, aimed at speeds between 160 and 200 kilometers per hour on the existing tracks on the Delhi-Mumbai route, the travel time between the two cities expected to be cut down to about 12 hours from the current 17 hours. The Make in India Week will be inaugurated this weekend by Prime Minister Narendra Modi, sparking a renewed sense of pride in the Indian industry. The event will showcase the potential of design, innovation and sustainability across India's manufacturing sectors in the coming decade. Take a look. Palakkad is called the granary of Kerala. However, paddy cultivation is declining here due to shortage of labor, increase in the wages of farm hands, and diversion of cultivable land. The Make in India project of Prime Minister Narendra Modi is giving a new ray of hope to the district. India's first defense industrial park will come up at Ottapalam as part of the project. Besides a research and development center, the park will have modern infrastructural facilities aimed at attracting competent manufacturers in defense. Any uh, military related equipments, for example, night vision equipments, transducers, electronic components, uh, communication equipments, even uniforms for the Javans, all these are part of the manufacturing process for defense related activities. The Ministry of Food Processing Industries has also approved a food park in Palakkad under its mega food park scheme. To be set up by Kinfra, the estimated project cost is 122 crore rupees, of which 50 crores will be given as grant by the centre. The permanent campus of IIT Palakkad will also come up soon in Pudasheri. The proposed rail coach factory at Kanjikod has also been included in the Make in India programme. The project will greatly promote production in related industries, including steel. It is our dream that the coach factory you know, should come to Palgat, IIT should come to Palgat. These were our dreams. IIT has already come, and once the coach factory is coming to Palgat, the the people of Kerala as well as particularly the people of Palgat will be definitely happy and our beloved Prime Minister is having uh, you know vast uh, innovative ideas and if this is included in the Make in India project uh, that's a blessing. The integrated industrial and textile park in Kanchikot hosts the first major defense production unit in Kerala. When completed, it will be a dedicated center for manufacturing defense equipment. DD News, Thiruvannadavaram.